this week on the internet debut of Days of Our Alcoholics. The narrator has a very unfortunate announcement to make. He literally spent two and a half hours. Actually, more like two hours. Might have been two and a half, though. That's probably more like two. Anyway. The narrator spent two hours trying to find local New Jersey wine and completely and utterly failed. Not only is Google a complete and total liar, but if these places actually exist, their signage is legitimately terrible. In addition to their terrible signage, I've never heard of any of these strange places before, and if they do exist, my god, they are not actual wineries. They look like tasting rooms for, I don't know, creepy, weird New Jersey people. Not that every person in New Jersey is weird and creepy, but I don't know. They must like weird, crazy people from New Jersey as their locale. But at any rate... We are going to do a 2018 Barbera Reserve from Virginia. And if any of you tell me that this is too young, I will literally shank you. Don't think I won't do it either because I'm crazy pissed and I'm angry at the world. And so now, ladies and gentlemen, we must begin the horrible exercise that is... Color. Purple core. Um... I like a red rim. We're gonna do red. Not to mention that there's about to be a massive snowstorm tomorrow and the Joshi is abandoning us to go to Tampa, Florida. Why is the Joshi abandoning us to go to Tampa, Florida? Because he is an insane child. And we don't know why, but we're going to call him out. Joshi, you're not allowed to go to Tampa, Florida. Get your ass back into work immediately before you are shanked too. Ooh, Pepper. Oh, some. Oh, dark fruit. I wouldn't say berry, but it's some kind of dark fruit. Uh, I wouldn't say plum. Are you black cherry? You might be black cherry. Maybe a blackberry. Am I just throwing words out here randomly? Yes, I am. Oh, but it smells so good. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't say anything on the back. By the way, yes, Barbersville, historic landmark, very nice winery area. You definitely need to check these kids out. Uh, 1976, Christmas Day, burned down. Oh, here we go. Raspberry, cherry, and anise aromas and flavors. Ooh, I got two of those right. Ah, uh, see? I know what I'm talking about. I don't know what anise aroma is, but I know what raspberry and cherry is. You get a little bit of the raspberry and cherry on the palate, but not as much as you get on the uh, nose. There's not even that much pepper on the palate either. What is this other thing on there? Medium tannin, medium acidity. It's even medium tannin, I don't know. It kinda has like low medium tannin, honestly. Were you Oak Barrel by any chance? Mmm, it is Vinifera. Uh, it doesn't say those Oak Barrels. Kind of reminds me of some kind of toasty oakiness. Not so much pepper. Very interesting. Very nice. Low burn going down the alcohol. It's not a heavy tannin wine. Um, so it's not very drying in the mouth. It's much more acidic than feels... Your mouth feels more wet. Yes, that's how we describe it. Wet and dry. Let's get over it. Um, but yes, very nice wine. Very smooth. Um, definitely recommend uh, this wine. The winery in general. Although they are like higher priced wines. But like 
the stuff's amazing. The quality is fantastic. It's very beautiful. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe. Because you know you want to, I know you want to, and Derek Jeter knows you want to. And Derek Jeter doesn't even know me, which is kind of weird, but yeah. He, he wants you to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't ask me why. It just does. Good night, everybody.